Pamela Spa is a multinational Italian dairy and food corporation. Having become the leading global company in the production of long-life milk using the ultra-high temperature process, the company collapsed in 2003 with AA 14 billion hole in its accounts in what remains Europe's biggest bankruptcy. Since 2011, it is a subsidiary of French group Lactalis. Today, Pamelat is a company with a global presence, having operations in Europe, Latin America, North America, Australia, China and South Africa. Still specializing in UHT milk and milk derivatives, the group also has an interest in fruit juices. These products are distributed under brand names such as Lactis, Santal, Malita the First, and Kai. Its worldwide operations include almost 140 production centers and more than 36,000 employees, while 5,000 Italian dairy farms are dependent on the company for the bulk of their business. Its shares are listed on the Borsa Italiana. Early history, in 1961, Callisto Tanzi, a 22-year-old college dropout, opened a small pasteurization plant in Parma. Two decades later, the company had grown into a multinational corporation diversifying into milk, dairy, beverage, bakery, and other product lines in the 1980s, becoming listed on the Milan Stock Exchange in 1990, and expanding further in the 1990s. By April 22, 2002, Pamelat's share price had reached a record and the company was valued at a 3.7 bn, employing over 30,000 people in 30 countries. The company began to expand and had listed in its portfolio amongst other things, an expansion in the space of a decade from six countries into ownership of Parma Tour and Odeon TV, Parma AC and SE Pamiras and sponsorship of SL Benfica, Boca Juniors, CAP plus or minus a role in Brazilian Formula One racing driver Pedro Diniz. Pamelat in Formula One Pamelat's name was notable outside Italy in Formula One. Its name was emblazoned on the cap of Nki Lauda, which he always wore following his 1976 German Grand Prix accident. The Brabham Formula One team was sponsored by Pamelat through some of its most successful years in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Owned by Bernie Ecclestone, Nelson Paquet and the Brabham team won two World Drivers Championships while sponsored by Pamelat. It also sponsored Pedro Diniz throughout his Formula One career, and its logo was seen on 40, Arrows, Ligia and Sauber cars from 1995 to 2000. Financial Fraud In 1997, Pamelat jumped into the world of financial markets in a big way, financing several international acquisitions, especially in the Western Hemisphere, with debt. But by 2001, many of the new divisions were producing losses and the company financing shifted largely to the use of derivatives, apparently at least in part with the intention of hiding the extent of its losses and debt. In February 2003, Chief Financial Officer Fausto Tunner unexpectedly announced a new a 300 million bond issue. This came as a surprise both to the markets and to the CEO, Callisto Tanzi. Tanzi forced Tunner to resign and replaced him with Alberto Ferraris. According to an interview he later gave Time magazine, Ferraris was surprised to discover that, though now CFO, he still did not have access to some of the corporate books, which were being handled by Chief Accounting Officer Luciano del Soldato. He began making some inquiries and began to suspect that the company's total debt was more than double that on the balance sheet. The plan for AA 300M fundraising effort was dropped in September 2003 and the company's shares depreciated significantly as a result of the publicized concerns raised over transactions with mutual fund de Picarum, a Cayman-based company linked to Pamelat by November. Ferraris resigned less than a week after the public fallout and was replaced by Del Soldato. Del Soldato resigned the next month, unable to get cash from a Picarum fund, needed to pay debts and make bond payments totaling at least a 150m Enrico Bondi was called in to help the company as it went into administration, while Tanzi himself resigned as chairman and CEO. Bonlat was a subsidiary of Pamelat set up in the Cayman Islands. Bonlat's bank, Bank of America, then released a document showing a 3.95 billion in Pamelat's bank account as a forgery. 
Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi initiated a fraud investigation and appointed Bondi to administer the company's rescue. Hundreds of thousands of investors lost their money and would never recover it. The company officially went bankrupt, though the Italian government used the legal mean commissariamento to save the trademark. Callisto Tanzi, once a symbol of unlimited success, was detained hours after the firm was declared officially insolvent in late December and admitted that there was a hole of a 8 bn in Pamelat's accounts, but denied any cover-up. The arrest of five other executives followed. The auditors of the administration eventually determined that the debts amounted to a 14.3 bn, which was almost eight times the sum originally stated. Several of the company's subsidiaries subsequently went insolvent, including its Brazilian and American operations and its football club in Parma. Pamelat then sued several multinational banks for huge sums of money. Tanzi was eventually charged with financial fraud and money laundering. Italians were shocked that such a vast and established empire could crumble so quickly. Among the questionable accounting practices used by Pamelat, it sold itself credit-linked notes in effect placing a bet on its own creditworthiness in order to conjure up an asset out of thin air. After his arrest, Tanzi reportedly admitted during questioning at Milan San Vittor prison, that he diverted funds from Pamelat into Parmator and elsewhere. The family football and tourism enterprises were financial disasters. As well as Tanzi's attempt to rival Berlusconi by buying Odeon TV, only to sell it at a loss of about a 45 million. Tanzi was sentenced to 10 years in prison for fraud relating to the collapse of the Dairy Group. The other seven defendants, including executives and bankers, were acquitted. Another eight defendants settled out of the court in September 2008. In September 2009, three lawsuits by Pamela Capital Finance Limited and Enrico Bondi, CEO of Pamela, against Bank of America and auditors Grant Thornton, were dismissed. Pamelat in the world. See also List of Italian companies, Gian Mario Rivero, references. External links, official website, BBC Pamelat in bankruptcy protection December 24, 2003, Pamelat Dream Go Sour. The Observer. January 4, 2004, How It All Went So Sour A Euro The Inside Story of Pamelat. Time Magazine. November 23, 2004. There is something about Pamelat. Simone Di Castri and Francesco Benedetto on SSRN.com.